at least at least three inches, four inches cut off. And my roots need to be done as well. And just reshape my layering and um, you know have been like 50 different colors in the past. So what I want to do is I really like that kind of like rose, rose pinky blonde. Um, um, so obviously I like to leave the back dark. I don't want to mess with the back because it gets so damaging. The color of the part that's already, yeah, you know. So you just want the normal, what we normally do, you know, we'll just color the top and the sides and leave the back alone, right? Yeah. Alright, so you got it. I trust you, so... Everyone's hair is different, so I'm going to tell you what to do for my hair. Since I had about a half an inch of root, what I like to do is I like to pre-lighten that part. That way I can put any color that I want on there. Because what will happen is the color will wash out and then I'll have like a, another base where I can just, a lighter base where I can just apply any color that I want. That's why I can always switch my hair color around without damaging it too much. There is like directions on like, on every different manufacturer makes it different. So if you're using like another type of um, lightener, it'll tell you how to mix it. But now that I have the lightener the way I like it, what I like to do is split my hair into four sections and this is how you would do a color too. So you want to start at the front forehead area and just part it down the center all the way to the nape of your neck. Then you want to, for sections three and four, I'm just going to go from like the top of the ear, from the top of my head to my, the back of my ear. And so that panel will be three, and then when I do the other side, that panel will be four, so four sections. Alright, so what you want to do is get the lightener only on your roots. You do not want to overlap. Of course, you don't want to leave like a band of black that you see on that first section. I'll fix it. But you want, sorry about all the banging. People are banging their doors and doing construction, but anyways. Alright, so I'm only getting it on my roots. Then you want to lift your sides like this and just get it on that root. You want to go around the whole perimeter of your, that panel. And you want to do that all throughout. Remember, just get it on your roots. Here I had to move so that I can see the back because I have a mirror there. So that's the only way that you're going to be able to see the back is if you have dual mirrors like that or else have someone do the back for you. Now what you want to do is take very thin sections so that when you lift that section up you can actually like see through it. So you want to lift that section and then you want to just continue just doing the very root area. Even though I am going to apply the lightener to the ends, this one that's going on my roots is stronger and I don't want that already on the pre-lightened parts. I'm taking a lightener that's not as strong as the root area because I'm just trying to lift up some of that color that's already in there, just a little bit. So I'm separating the back from the top, um, from the front sections. I'm putting that lightener through and working it in, starting it on the ends because that's where it's the darkest. Like right here. Just kind of working it in, getting it in there. And that only stays on for a little bit, just so I can get that part, you know, lightened up. Just 
just a tip whenever I brush out my hair I like to put an oil Moroccan oil or something that makes it easier to brush through and another thing when I normally do my color I just do the top section I don't do the back that's how I'm able to keep it healthy enough to kind of grow out that you want to be very very careful so just like section it start on the ends I like to grab hold it so that when I when I'm going through it I'm it's not falling out of my head like I said I'm gonna take it later you can part it if you actually part it you know you can do the parting later I'm just gonna take it make sure there are no tangles so here I was like oh geez I don't want to cut too much off but I needed to so I cut about two inches off and then once you get that that's going to be your guide for the length so what you're going to want to do is keep taking like half inch to one inch sections depending on how thick your hair is so I'm just keep going all the way up taking my sections and then I'm just going to meet that to my guide my front pieces or my sides they don't hit my length since I have so many layers so I just let the rest down and, and then just trimmed um, at my guide for the length so now we're going to work on the front layers and side layers so what I'm going to do is take like about you know an inch section around the front perimeter because if your hair is thicker then you want to take smaller sections but my hair is not too thick up here so now I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side you want to make sure your sections are even and here I'm just trimming it because I do not want too many I don't want to I don't want my layers to be too shortened so I'm just trimming I'm kind of growing them out kind of just for a different look so anyway right through here I am flipping I'm doing this little thing this flip with my finger and I'm going to trim the layering so it's kind of hard for me to show you when you do it on yourself and you do it with someone else it's a little bit different but basically I'm just kind of taking the section in my fingers like so and then flipping it kind of up like that and then I'm gonna just trim the layering and what this does is has the layering kind of go back you know what I mean if, um, it kind of has the layering going back versus coming forward and under I'm um, going for the like you know um, back look like I said a hundred million times already sorry so I'm going to do this to both sides once you have that first guide that first cut that's your guide and that's what you're going to use to shape up your layers away from the face hope that makes sense I had to get crafty when I was showing you how to do this because like I said doing it to yourself is difficult to show you know when you're doing it to someone else and you're teaching it's way different but anyways I hope you guys get what I'm saying all right so let's keep going Sorry that for some of this I'm out of the viewfinder. I didn't realize that it was filming so close. Alright, so you want to always make sure that your guide is straight, that the even that it's even. Because this is going to be your guide for the rest of the layers. So you want to go through it and make sure they hit exactly the same spots. And then you just keep taking half inch to an inch sections, paneling, you know, going back. And then we're going to do the back layers, and then we're done. Make sure you have the same sectioning behind your ears and everything. Because that's the only way you're going to make sure that it's even. Alright, 
So now, take the triangle parting. That's how I learned how to cut. And so someone that has no layering, I mean, yeah, if you have no layering, you're gonna see a lot come off. But since I have layering in my hair, I'm just gonna see it being trimmed for now. So this is me just finishing up the other side with the layering and then I'm going to take down the other side and make sure that it's even because you always want to make sure everything is even or you're not going to have an even haircut. So as I'm checking, I see it on the right side, you'll notice that I have to trim a little bit more because that way they have to be even because if they're not even, like I said, you're not going to have an even cut. So wait, are they even? Now we want to just let down the rest and I'm going to bring the back towards the front and trim where the layers are. Since I have layers throughout my hair, I don't really have a lot to trim, but if you don't have layers, then you're gonna end up trimming a lot more. And that's okay, because that's going to add to your back layers. Now we're going to work on the back, so you want to section the front forward from behind your ear to the top of your head forward, so we just have the back section to work on. Alright, so through the back we're going to take that mid section, and this was rather difficult for me to do on myself because my hair was kind of long, so I hope you don't have a hard time, but basically what you want to do is lift that section straight out from your head. So go up, let the bottom piece fall down because that's your length. You don't want to touch that or else you'll be cutting your hair shorter. So bring that all the way up. And this is where I had problem. I had, you know, my arms aren't long enough. So I brought it as far as I could, bending my head back. And then I kept that and moved it to the side so I could see what I was doing. And I just trimmed off that, that triangle that you see right there. Just trim that right off. And so that's going to be my new guide. So I keep taking my sections, bringing it all the way up and meeting it at that guide and trimming that triangle off. Now we're just going to do the same thing to the opposite side and do the same thing. Take your section, bring it up and cut the triangle off. Making sure that the very bottom pieces fall out or you'll be cutting your length shorter. So I'm just gonna finish up this side and then we'll move on. So just finishing up this side and once you do that, what you want to do is take the section horizontally and lift it all the way up. And this was kind of difficult to shoot also, again, because my hair was so long. But basically, you just want to bring it all the way up and then trim. If there's any scraggly hairs or unevenness, you want to just go ahead and trim it so it's even. Ah, I finally got it. Okay, so trim it. All right, so now I'm going to take the back, split it in half, and then I'm going to take it horizontally and make sure those layers are right on each side. I know the color looks funny right now, and that's okay because we haven't done the last part of the color. So right now we're just on the haircut.
Remember to keep checking to make sure it's even. Okay, so we're getting to the end of the cut. Now we just have the top layering meeting with the back or the, the crown area. So I'm gonna take that section right at the crown, right through there, the center, and I'm just gonna bring it up. What we're trimming here is the brat layers with the top layers. So next we're going to take that section and take it like that and then bring it up and see what needs to be cut. What we're doing is we're meeting the side layers to the top. As for the other side, we're going to do the same thing, meeting the sides with the top. If your hair is long, um, you're going to have to be creative when cutting your hair because you're going to run out of arm length. But just, just keep going and you'll get the hang of it. If you do it to someone else, it's a lot easier. Lastly, all we're going to do is horizontally take the top and bring it straight up and just make sure that's even. And that's it. That's it for the haircut. So now let's get into the color. And then I'm going to apply the last color, which is the the pink dream. I'm so excited. All color is different, so the instructions on this manufacturer's instructions says equal parts, so equal part color to equal part developer, and then I'm just going to mix this up. As usual, when I apply a color, I like to do around the perimeter, around the hairline first. So this is no exception and I'm going to just, the part that we already pre-lightened is where I'm putting this color and split it down the center and go ahead and put it in the root area. So what we're going to do is I'm going to apply the color to my root area probably three inches out. So I'm concentrating the color there. So here are my four sections again. And that's how I like to apply the color. Now I'm just taking the comb and combing it through a little bit. And now let's go ahead and start. So this is the easy part. All we're going to do is take about half an inch sections and Put that color, smush that color into your root area. Go ahead and just make sure you get it in there with the brush. Make sure you're getting it in there really well. We don't want to miss any spots. So exactly what you see me doing here is exactly what I'm going to do to all the panels of my section. Concentrating on the lightener, everything I just lightened. So now that I'm done doing that to all my sections, putting it on the roots, concentrating there, now I'm going to work that through the ends. So you can either take your comb and comb it through, adding more color on, or you can use your fingers if you want to smush the color that way, you can do it that way also. What's important is you don't want to miss any sections, you don't want to miss any spots. That's why I like to do both. I like to apply the color from where I left off, then I like to comb it through, and then I like to add more color and just smush it through all the way to the ends. 
and I just do this through the whole part that's lightened already as I told you and then we let it sit for about I let this sit on for about 30 35 minutes and then I gave it a good washing with color shampoo and I left some conditioner on and then the next day I just added a few curls just to style it and that's it guys Alright, so what I'm going to do is quickly style my hair. I'm going to use a little bit of this fruit tea. And I'm going to apply a little bit at a time. I like to start off in the most damaged areas, which is always my top section, especially through here. So here I will do it like on my, not my roots, but you know, close to the roots down because it's really damaged. I, I just, you know, lightened this area. So I want to make sure it's protected. I've been in and out of the rain. Uh -huh. So, so my hair is extra frizzy today. But that's okay because I'm going for a um, you know, messy look. Not messy, but you know, since my hair is already dry, frizzy, blah, 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 I'm just gonna add a few more curls. I'm gonna turn the heat down. That's why I like ones that you can control the heating because I don't like burning my hair. So I just turn that down. This, I'm just gonna go ahead and part it. When it comes to these clipless irons, you cannot take a section like this large because it's not going to be evenly distributed throughout the part that's hot. So you're going to end up with no curl at all. So you have to make sure that the sections are smaller. And in order to get the ends tucked in the right way, you're going to want to use the glove that comes with it. I lost mine at the moment, but I would use that glove to kind of tighten the hair around the barrel on the Actually, ends. around the whole shaft, it just has gives you like a tighter curl when you use your hand with the glove on it like that. So without the glove, you can't really do it, but that's okay because we're just going to have some loose curls anyway. So basically, I'm just sporadically choosing small sections, wrapping it around the iron, going in one direction and just trying to you know tip the ends in because I don't really like when they're like sticking out but anyway it's okay um, so I'm just gonna do that around the whole top sides of my hair not really the back because the back naturally is a little bit wavy so just you know the top and the sides and that's it guys one more very important thing to point out as you can see the iron is always on the top coming down so the thicker part is toward my roots, the thinner part is on the ends, so you're going to need to take it from the top, basically. So I hope you guys enjoyed this color, cut, pre-lighten, um, my new hair for spring. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking if you like. And I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks again, guys. Bye. Don't forget to visit my channel because I have a lot more videos up there. Hair videos and... Um, you know vlog videos because I love vlogging also so go ahead and subscribe also if you like hair cutting or coloring videos or vlogs once again thank you guys so much have a good rest of your week bye oh yeah 
If you guys are interested, if you guys are on Instagram or Facebook, the links are below in the down bar. Alright, this time seriously. Bye.